Hi, I'm Rabbi Yisrael Bernath, and welcome to my Daily Torah Thoughts. I'd like to share a story with you today. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the Talmudist who lived in the 2nd century in the Holy Land, was possibly the holiest man that ever lived, besides authoring the Zohar, being a master of the Oral Torah and a miracle worker. He was one of the few Jews in history who spent every instant of his time studying Torah. No casual conversations, no coffee breaks, of course no vacations, only Torah. So everyone was surprised when the day after Rosh Hashanah, he showed up at the door of his nephew's home and he began to lecture them about the importance of giving charity to the poor. Although he didn't really have money to spare and totally didn't understand the urgency of what he was saying, they listened attentively, because when Rabbi Shimon spoke, everyone listened. Rabbi Shimon told them, Give with an open hand. Don't worry about tomorrow. God will provide. And most important, write it all down. Every penny you give, write it down and carry the list with you at all times. I want to see a big sum at the end of the year. Rabbi Shimon made them promise that they would give generously and they would write it down and left. Almost a year later, they had another strange visit, this time from a group of Roman soldiers with an order for their arrest. Someone accused them of selling silk without paying the tax to the government. They began weeping and protesting their innocence, but to no avail. Trembling with fear, they were led off to prison, where they were given a choice. Either pay an outrageous fine of 600 dinar, or produce an even more outrageously priced silk garment for the king, both of which were utterly beyond their means. When Rabbi Shimon heard what had happened, he immediately rushed to the prison and got a special permission to visit his relatives. Where is the account of the charity you gave? he asked. How much did you give? Here, they replied as one of them pulled to the small parchment from his pocket. Rabbi Shimon took the account and noticed that they had given almost 600 dinar. They were just six dinar short. Do you have any money with you? he asked. They produced six dinar that they had sewn into their garments in case they needed it. Rabbi Shimon took the money and he bribed one of the officials. The charges were dropped and they were released. Rabbi Shimon explained to them what had happened. He said, This past Rosh Hashanah I dozed off, and I dreamt that the government would demand of you six hundred dinars. That's why I told you to give charity, to negate the decree. Rabbi Shimon, if you knew, why didn't you tell us about that? We would have given the money immediately and spared ourselves a lot of anguish. Of course, of course, Rabbi Shimon replied. But then you wouldn't have done the mitzvah for its own sake. My friends, Hashem decides how much money we make, how much money we have. Hashem gives us at least 10% of what we make to give away to charity and trusts us with this money to do good with it. Right now here at Chabad and DG, we're doing our annual raffle. I'm personally asking you to buy a few tickets. We're at a crucial time and we really, really need the money. We're about to embark on something very big. There are so many people who benefit from what we do. If you're listening to this right now, you also benefit from what we do. I'm asking you to please go online today. www.ndgraffle.com That's www.ndgraffle.com And please buy a few tickets. Tell your friends. We really need your help. May Hashem bless you that with the money that you give today, it will be instead of your own decrees. May you be blessed with long life, good health, and tons of nachas. I'm Rabbi Yisrael Bernath. Have a fantastic day. Hi there. I just wanted to let you know that I just launched a brand new website. It's theloverabbi.com, T-H-E-L-O-V-E-R-A-B-B-I.com, theloverabbi.com, and it has... Um, lots of very interesting uh, things there, especially you can purchase um, a lot of the different classes and uh, lectures that I have given um, over the past few years. And you can also take a look at the current 
classes and lectures that I'm giving and the current events that I am doing on relationships. So I encourage you to go check it out. It's theloverabbi.com. Thanks so much.